Okay, we're going to be talking about uh, permission set groups uh, and how to use them. So I quickly drew up um, this diagram here, and it's just showing profiles, permission set groups, and custom permissions or permission sets. Um, so typically how I see things go or when I kind of jump into new orgs, um, you know, the, the way that Salesforce used to work, there was no such thing as a permission set group. So it was just a lot of profiles and permission sets. So what you found is a lot of companies were, you know, custom creating a ton of different profiles when they really didn't need to do that. All um, that needs to be done is have one profile, have different permission set groups based on, you know, what those groups of people need to do within that profile. And then if you need to extend that a little further, you can assign a permission set. So I'll give an example. Let's say this profile here is a salesperson. And within your group of salespeople, you have an enterprise sales group, an SMB sales group, and then you have your sales managers. And each one of them need uh, extended or mixed permissions, right? Maybe managers can reassign leads or uh, reassign accounts. Uh, sales reps can only touch what is... Um, you know, what, what they currently own. Maybe uh, we want to make enterprise sales users uh, flow users or marketing users uh, because they're using account-based marketing and they use campaigns. So, you know, within this single profile of a salesperson, we've got three different parties here, which we can bundle permission sets into to make permission set groups. Now, if there's an individual within these groups of people, that then need super extended permission. Let's say there's one manager who deals with cases um, or you know, they, there's some custom object that they have access to, then you can create another permission set and assign it to that one person. So uh, the, pro, the permission set group is just a, a, a nice way to limit ourselves in our org from creating way too many uh, custom profiles. So I'm going to jump over to Salesforce now and just show how it works. So you've got all these different permission sets. This is just a sample org. I'm going to come over to permission set groups. And I'm going to say sales permission set group. And once I'm here, all I need to do is assign permission sets that I want in this permission set group. So I want my salesperson to have the sales cloud user, queue manager, and CRM user, just to pick three random permission sets. Now I have these three permission sets in my group, and I'm going to assign the permission set groups to myself. So now you can see here, I just assigned myself the permission set group and it in bulk assigns all those permission sets to me. So I set up one example profile here, but you could see if I had uh, maybe one profile for a salesperson, I could build out four or five different permission set groups between those, you know, the different roles that I have and assign those. Stop creating um, custom profiles for everything with permission set groups uh, becomes really unnecessary.